police station hall. There's a fire station on the other side of the building there. A nice little building. Yeah. Seatbelt's not on. Seatbelt check, he failed. Strike one. Yeah, Wolfie down there. And the resistance, there he is. Hey, put your seatbelt on next time, jackass. Don't fucking be smart with the people out here. So, is it a policy that you guys have to wear seatbelts while you drive public vehicles? It's against the law, sir, and it could save your life. Yeah, you know, a lot of uh, officers die through vehicle accidents. More so than anything else, and it's because they're not wearing their seatbelt. And then you come back with a snippy attitude. That's really unprofessional. Uh, we got one of these. We got one of these. You must have something illegal in that truck. He's guarding it. Yeah. Like Doesn't matter. I'm here for seatbelt compliance checks. You have failed. Can I have your name and badge number, please? Name and badge number, please. Right, Sir, how often do you find this officer not wearing his seatbelt? <laughs> you think it's funny? So we gotta pay for your mistakes on a regular basis. What if it came out of your own pocket if you totaled the vehicle and had to go to the hospital? What if you had to pay that out of your own insurance? Would you still laugh? We're here for an actually specific, very specific reason to make sure you guys are safe when you drive our vehicles. Policy states, another one laughing. Boy, you guys are really so full of yourselves. So when you see those plaques of fallen officers from police, police tag, uh, vehicle accidents, you guys just laugh at that? You just laugh and say, ah, oh, I know we do. All right. So I'll bring a copy of the policy on Monday to show you guys where it states you got to wear your seatbelt. So please wear your seatbelts. It's, uh... It's a policy, it's a law, and it will save your life someday. We're very concerned about you guys. Make sure you're safe. We're seatbelt narcs, okay? And this is what we do. We're highly trained professionals. All right, little doggies. Come on, little doggies, follow me. Woof, 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 woof. Woof, 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 woof. Must be embarrassing. Man, they think it's funny, don't they? Until they go through the windshield. We'll see how funny that is. Where's our next gangster without a seatbelt on? We're looking for seatbelt renegades, everybody. I'm here with Southeastern PA Community. Yeah, <laughs> Wolfie the and the resistance. So Little Red thought it was funny. He doesn't wear seatbelts, huh? He thinks it's absolutely entertaining. And then his little buddy that came out also thought it was funny. Huh. Interesting. They must think killing people and, and maiming and hurting and beating people and falsely arresting is also funny. So that's why I told him, we have one of those, huh? Yeah, we have Seatbelt Renegade right here. He drives, uh, is the plate of the vehicle he's driving today, the Street 5. So Wolfie's the Seatbelt Narc. I'm the Seatbelt Compliance Officer. Oh, you're fine, bro. I was just gonna jump on the grass here. Wow. Funny, funny, funny. Everything's funny to these fucking terrorists. Everything's funny. Stealing taxpayer money's funny. Not wearing seatbelts funny. Falsely arresting people's funny. Beating people's funny. Raping people's funny. Killing people's funny. Where the fuck am I? Where, what planet am I on? Where it's funny to break the law. Yeah, you know, grab a complaint for him. That's a good point. Let's go get one. Let's 
Good idea. He's breaking another policy? Oh, strike two. Strike two. Did you get his name and badge number? I need your name and badge, sir. Besides coward? You know, press the buzzer. That's, that buzzer up there is for the public. So what do you say there? You have Actually, to come during business off. hours? You have to take a drop off. You have to come during business hours to get it? Yeah, that's what they always say. <laughs> come back during business hours. This is business hours. Fucking, that's 24-7 business hours. I ain't gonna answer the bell. Strike three policy. Can't doesn't answer a service call. We're racking them up. So they don't wear seatbelts. They don't give out police complaint forms, and they deny service. What do you see in there? See anything juicy? I think it's only a stairwell that you see. Huh. Very very odd. Go get him, resistance. I'm telling you. Are they denying service? Are they denying service? Do you ask for a form? Why? Tell them to bring a form. We don't need a sergeant. trying to tell me that they don't have access to any of these offices during the weekend or are outside of business hours they don't have a key that goes from one point to the other where they could walk in there and grab a I hear you. And we'll have a receptionist okay we'll they should be right out in the lobby again told me I couldn't get a complaint for him I had to wait Monday morning I just knocked on the door the other guy was standing here looking real silly what they say, you can get a I sergeant? Told him, I said, I need a complaint form and I need that guy's name right there behind you. He said, Sure. I have a sergeant come right now. Oh, here we go. It's we the waiting need game. We need a complaint form. What the hell? It's the waiting game. Ah, uh, this is what they did over in the other place. Yep. Upper guard. Let's see how long we have we can blow off the public since we hate and disdain them so much. How dare they come and point a camera at us and tell us to wear seatbelts and be compliant? And what, the sergeant's gonna roll in here without a seatbelt on? I bet <laughs> you. I bet you. That's funny. I bet you he comes in here without a seatbelt on. Mm, that is funny. We should make him meet us up here so they can't fucking play games. Well, if they come out, and try to act like because we're back here, grab that complaint form. Right. We want to meet them out here. But see if they're going to come out. See if they're going to come to me being as though I asked them. But if, if not. We put it down here and then we'll walk up social distancing safely to pick it up. Oh, so you lay it here and we'll walk up and you walk back. <clears throat> They don't. They don't have their masks on either. Yeah, but still. My area. Yeah, just make sure you keep. That's what I'm saying. Make sure you keep that distance. All right. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a safe distance. <laughs> and what if they keep uh, safe distances away from their hookers and whores that they pick up on a regular basis and use? Why don't they keep a safe distance as they're beating prisoners? They use a six foot stick or something? So here we go again. Does the resistance have to ring the bell and ask if they got lost? Huh. We shall see. I say they're not coming out. That's what I say. Well, if they come out, I'll put the camera back on. Yaden Burrow.
and outside of Philly, Delaware County, they think everything's funny. Give them a call. Tell them how much you enjoy their uh, jovial nature. <laughs>